Param Shanti. Today, we will discuss the conversations between Dolores Cannon and Nostradamus. Dolores was a hypnotist that did past life regressions. Dolores would be able to show her clients their past lives by connecting them to their subconscious mind, which she also called as the oversoul. Before the session, the client was to give Dolores a list of personal questions that they wanted answers for regarding their current life. Dolores would ask the client these questions while they were in the state of hypnosis. Many of the problems and situations one faces in their current life are connected to events that occurred in past lives. During the session, the client would tell Dolores what they are seeing in their past life and would give the answers to the questions she would ask on behalf of the client as well as any questions she would have for her own research purposes. In the 1980s, one day, Dolores put a woman in hypnosis for her past life regression. When the woman arrived at a past life in her state of hypnosis, she told Dolores that what she is seeing is that she is a boy and is a student of Nostradamus. She said that Nostradamus is teaching a class of students at his house and is right in front of him. He is teaching his students how to see the future like him. The location is France and the time period is the 1500s. So, just like a normal session, Dolores continued to ask the woman more questions. The woman would continue to reply in the perspective of that student. During this communication between Dolores and the student, apparently Nostradamus realized his student was doing something strange in class. He went up to the student and started to ask him about what he is doing. Then something strange happened, which never usually happened with Dolores during her sessions. The woman told Dolores that Nostradamus wanted to speak to her. So in this way, the conversations between Nostradamus and Dolores started. The woman would relay the message between them two by telling each other what the other is saying. Dolores has never been able to do such a thing where she was able to speak to someone from the past in such a way because Nostradamus made it clear that she is not speaking to the dead as he is alive in his time period as is she. Nostradamus said that he has been waiting for a connection to the future because he could see that people would not be able to understand his prophecies in the future. He then told Dolores that the time for his prophecies to come true is coming near and that he wants her to do something for him. He asked Dolores to get a book from our time that had all 1000 prophecies of his and he wanted her to one by one read the prophecies to him. He would then give her the correct explanation and interpretation of each prophecy. He then told her to spread the true meaning of his prophecies all over the world. He said that he is seeing many different possible future timelines for the world and that if he was to tell people the most terrible timeline and people focused on the opposite of that terrible timeline, then they would be able to change the future into a better timeline simply with their positive thoughts. He wanted Dolores to spread this information everywhere so that people would realize the power of their minds. He said that if one person's thoughts can change the future timeline of the world, then imagine what a group of people's thoughts can do. When the hypnosis session with this woman ended, she did not even remember the things that she said to Dolores or saw in her hypnosis session. After this, one day, Dolores put this same woman under hypnosis and connected with Nostradamus once again. During this session, Nostradamus again told Dolores that she must continue connecting with him to decode the prophecies and then also spread the true meanings of his prophecies to the whole world. In this session, he said that 
Now that we have connected with each other successfully, you will be able to connect with me through any of your clients. He gave her instructions on how to locate him during hypnosis sessions with her clients and which tests to perform before starting the conversation to know that it is truly him that she is talking to each time. By doing this, Dolores was successfully able to connect to him each time through different people. In one of these sessions, he also told Dolores how exactly he is able to see the future. He said that he would focus into a black obsidian mirror and go into a trance and his soul would then leave his body and be able to see all of the future events and timelines. When he would re-enter his body, he would see that through automatic writing, he would have written all of the prophecies on paper. He also said that he would figure out the dates for the events that he saw in his prophecies through astrology. In these research hypnosis sessions, Dolores had connected with Nostradamus through many different people. She would never tell those people exactly what she is doing. She would simply state it as an experiment and start the session. Every person was different but they all said the same scenarios and gave the same information. During the sessions, Nostradamus would pick up the conversation right from where the last session would end, even if it was through a different person that Dolores was working with. Nostradamus said that there will come a time in the world where people will evolve to the point of living forever. He said that humans will also travel and live in space. This will happen when the vibrations of the world change and people enter into the new earth. People with high vibrations will enter this new earth and those who have low vibrations will stay in the old earth because their low vibrations will not let them go into the new earth. He said that the ones who are interested in listening to all of this knowledge will be the ones to go to the high vibrational new earth. In some of the other past life regression sessions that Dolores did with her clients, those clients went back to a life in the time of the Mayan civilization. The clients were able to tell Dolores about the mystery of the disappearance of the Mayans. The clients said that the Mayans were actually very spiritually evolved and were able to see the future. They eventually evolved to the point of entering into the higher vibrational dimension, which is why it seems like they disappeared from this earth. The minds were able to see that the next big event of evolution to a higher dimension on the earth would be 2012. This is why their calendar stops in the year 2012. According to them, this was the year of spiritual evolution, not the end of the world. Dolores then traveled the world and spread this knowledge and prophecies to people for 25 years. She wrote three books about Nostradamus, which were Conversations with Nostradamus, Book 1, 2, and 3. Param Shanti